Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Anatomy of a Goal. I'm Greg Lawless, Editor-in-Chief of MLSsoccer.com. In today's episode, we're looking at a goal that is all about motion. The New England Revolution's movement recalls the motion of a solar system. And the star that shines brightest in the end is young Diego Fagundes, who strikes the winner in a 2-0 victory over the Houston Dynamo on May 18, 2013. Let's wind it back and break it down. And this play begins with, as many of them do, a giveaway in the midfield. A sloppy pass from Houston's Will Bruin is collected by New England's Lee Wynn. The turnover sets everything in motion. First, Juan Agudelo presents an option up front. Second, Fagundes, sensing where the play is headed, cuts across on a diagonal run, perhaps thinking he might get the second ball after Agudelo plays it back to win. But a run is not always about the runner, it's also about the space. Fagundes' run opens up space for Clyde Sims to drift into. At this point, it might not seem important, but just wait. Now, the other interesting thing about what's going on here is Houston's posture. They have men behind the ball, but they seem remarkably mellow, almost lackadaisical in their defending. Look at how Eric Bruner lays off of Agudelo. There's no pressure on the ball, and the Revs are free to just make their runs and move the ball. A quick physics lesson, this is about inertia. A team in motion tends to stay in motion. Fagundes circles around. Agudelo slides to the far post to spread out the defense. And Sims continues to advance and set up on top of the box. Now comes the individual moment that every good goal needs. Fagundes is still a teenager, but he has that je ne sais quoi. That thing so many talented creative players have. They seem to innately understand the calculus of movement and timing. Fagundes plays the ball into Sims and with a change of pace skips past a couple of defenders. Now to be honest, the Houston defense should be flogged for not following the runner, but still, the Revs deserve credit for slicing the defense apart. And Sims deserves extra credit for the little hitch move he pulls off which freezes Bruner and opens up the seam for Fagundes. From there, Fagundes just keeps moving, makes a tricky delay move around Ricardo Clark and finishes well as cool as the dark side of the moon. All right, well, that's it for this episode of Anatomy of a Goal. Join me again next time when we'll wind it back and break it down.